Welcome to the first episode of Tasty Tuesdays. Uh, today I am going to be cooking. It is Instant Pot Chili Beef Stew with Cheesy Grits. It looked really good, so I'm going to try it on. I've never made it before. I am wearing my Oklahoma State hoodie today because OSU just won their bowl game on Saturday, so that's super exciting. But I am going to get to making this. Carson is right now in the baby's room taking care of her. She is crying. So we are gonna get started. So the first thing that it says to do is I need to get a bowl and put all the meat and all that fun stuff in basically in a bowl and season it all up. So let me get started with that. Okay, so first things first, I have some beef mix. So basically I just bought it, or some beef stew mix of just meat. So you put this, you need two pounds of this. So I had to buy quite a few different packages. So that is all the raw meat. So from here I need to add one tablespoon of chili powder. I use these little guys from Amazon to keep all my spices together, which is really cool. And you know, for me, it's a little bit over, but that's fine. Sprinkle that in. Then two teaspoons of cumin. And then one tablespoon of salt. Which, a little extra. And then it just says black pepper to taste, which Carson loves black pepper. Um, so we're gonna heat the Instant Pot. It's gonna set it to saute on high heat. And then we're gonna add the beef to it and then cook it undisturbed for five minutes and let the bottom brown. So we will do that and then we'll just remove it to a separate plate and kind of just keep the process going. All right, so the meat is doing its five minutes in the uh, saute mode of the pressure cooker. I am going to chop up our onion, oh, my phone out of the way. I'm gonna chop up our onion and our one pound of carrots. So, I'm excited on that. I'm so glad that I am able to cook like this. Uh, Carson kind of takes care of the baby during this time of the day. And for some reason, she's being just unreasonable today. Does not want to go down for this nap. She wasn't even like overtired when I started to put her down, but I think at this point she is. I had her all the way, like just barely not asleep yet. And she decided to just wail. And I would just like to let everyone know, I am not a professional by any means. I am just someone who enjoys cooking and share some recipes with people. I love watching these kinds of videos on YouTube because I am always looking for good recipe ideas. And I feel like watching someone normal, not like a chef who like knows how to do everything, uh, kind of makes it feel more attainable to do. So, I am just chopping up an onion. I know there's probably like 8,000 different ways that I'm doing this wrong. So now I'm going to add the tomato paste, the diced tomatoes, and the carrots, and um, a cup of water. Yes, and one cup of water, and we're going to start the pressure cooking process. So I will show everything there. We're pressure cooking on high for 30 minutes to finish all of this. Focus. Okay, so this next part, we are boiling four cups of water, and we're going to be adding, let's see. So four cups of water to one cup of grits, and we're gonna boil those in a saucepan for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I will be adding milk and cheese, and it's gonna stir and it's gonna make them nice and cheesy and creamy for the grits part of this. 
So had a little whoopsie with cooking this. I had this container already in the pantry and I thought I had enough to cook for dinner. And I was just shy of a cup. So I am having to take some of the water out and put the rest of the grits in and just hope I have a good ratio. We're just gonna kind of wing it. All right, so now once most of the liquid has been absorbed, we are going to add in some milk and shredded pepper jack cheese. Um, we're gonna do a cup and a quarter of milk and we're gonna do one and a half cups of shredded pepper jack cheese. So it's gonna be a little spicy, um, but you want it to look like this and be this consistency before you start putting in your milk. All right, so I'm tasting the grits. They're very good. I'm going to add a little bit of salt and cook them for a little bit longer to thicken up. They're very good. They're a little spicy. So um, you can maybe just do like a regular like jack cheese, I guess, if you don't want the spiciness. So I finished making the it's basically like a chili beef stew on top of grits. I found this recipe, I had really good reviews on it, kind of tweaked it to make it my own, and we made it. So I'm gonna insert a little bit of footage of what it looks like here. Alrighty, and so Carson's gonna be coming in soon. I've taste tested the grits, and I so I know the grits taste delish. And now I'm just waiting for Carson to come in and we'll be having him try. I hope so badly that it's really tasty. So, so I just realized my GoPro died while I was making the grits. So there's no footage of me like pouring in the water and pouring in the milk and the cheese and all that stuff. So I apologize for that. You're just gonna have to look at me talking about what I did. And then I will be adding in, so once I'm done, so right now we still have, there's seven minutes left on the pressure cooker. So we still have to wait that long. And then once it's all done, then I will plate it and show you guys the finished product. And Carson and I will taste it to see how it's going. So Carson, you think it's gonna be good? All right, he said he's excited. He's currently feeding the baby for me so I can finish cooking. All right, so it's time to test this out. So, are you ready, Cars? All right, going in. Let's, I need a little bit of everything. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. It's like some of the best parts of shrimp and grits with beef instead of shrimp. So if you're not a shellfish person yeah. and you're feeling like you miss out on shrimp and grits, this is like a 100% dinner option, but kind of gives the same vibe as like a shrimp and grits. So it's nice and spicy, it's seasoned well. I will put the recipe in the description below. All right, I am adding this clip in at the end after we have finished our dinner. And I would like, I would, I'm gonna say that on the recipe, I would add more salt. So I'll add that in the recipe that ooh, I give you guys. I almost just tip myself over. And the other thing is with the grits, I would lessen the amount of milk that I put in and I would add cream cheese instead and it would I think make it just a little bit creamier and taste better and I will update those things in the recipe when I put it in there for you but don't you think that'll make it a little bit better I think so all right so make sure like comment subscribe uh, let us know if you want to see anything else and I'll start doing tasty Tuesdays on I don't want to commit to every single Tuesday, but I would like to do every single Tuesday. So keep an eye out.